Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. Legacy. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Like, subscribe. You know the drill. Kathleen Kennedy can't seem to stop putting her foot in her mouth. Although, in fairness, I guess it's how you spin it. In a recent interview with Games Radar, she said the following about the Star Wars saga, specifically discussing the new Ray Skywalker movie. She said, and I think it offers just tremendous opportunity to introduce new characters and start with something fresh because we culminated with what George Lucas was creating and now we take all of that and move it to the next chapter. And you can spin this in multiple ways. I've seen some outlets spin this negatively and some just kind of using it like I'm using it here to get you to watch and some not so negative. And I would look at this and the first thing I thought was, well, this should have been from the get-go. This should have been like George Lucas created Star Wars, he created six Star Wars movies in the Clone Wars show and whatever. But, he, you know, there were six movies to use as your basis and you move on from there. I think part of the issue was they decided to dwell a little bit on exactly what George Lucas was doing. And a lot of fans wanted just more of the same of what George Lucas was doing. And they decided to go in a different direction a little bit, change things around. And this is what you get. I think this. I think when you're playing with legacy characters, you have to stay true to your legacy character or face the consequence of fan backlash, which is something that they got, rightly or wrongly. I don't, you know, whatever. It was what it is. I think this, is, this makes sense. You can still have some George Lucas characters popping up. I don't know if they will. It sounds like they're going to move on, but... You can't, you got to take the shackles off and you got to allow yourself to tell the story and, and push it further, right? Push it beyond where, where it was into some new part of the galaxy to explore. So I think that this quote is an understanding of where they are with Star Wars, an understanding of, and I mean the franchise as a whole, an understanding that you've got to push forward and you have to, you know, you don't let the past die as I joked at the beginning you respect the past, you respect what's been laid out uh, before you, and you you make like a chia pet and you allow it to grow. And so I think Star Wars, you know, I mean, look, there will be stumbling, right? They're going to fail. There'll be some that we like and some that we don't like. It's inevitable when you get four movies in three years and 400 TV shows, at some point we're not going to like everything that they feed us. And that's fine too, right? You just, you, you take everything one at a time and you just enjoy what you enjoy and you don't because the world is a better place with Star Wars in it than without. I've lived through both. Thanks everybody for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Are you glad that Star Wars is moving on from the Skywalkers? And I mean, hopefully Jabba the Hutt comes back, right? Like Jabba's kid, like Blabba the Hutt or something. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.